everyone! Welcome back to Explodey FPS, your go-to zone for fixing all things voice-related. This is Syra, and today we're diving straight into a fix that's been driving people crazy. Clownfish voice changer not working properly, especially with Discord or certain microphones. Now, I've seen a lot of comments under my last video. It's not altering voice or doesn't work with Discord or still not picking up audio. And I get it, replying to every comment and walking through each issue one by one, it takes too long. So this video is your complete reset and rebuild from scratch with a new working method. No, I'm not going to ask you to update your graphic drivers or do some usual blah blah, because we're not here for generic stuff that doesn't solve anything. Okay, listen carefully because this is really important for everyone who's been struggling with clownfish. Every audio or video device requires something called an adapter. It's basically what allows your system to process the input and output from your mic or speaker. But clownfish doesn't come with its own adapter. It relies on your microphone's compatibility with Windows audio drivers. And guess what? Some microphones don't support clownfish merging, especially USB or low-end built-in mics. So what we're going to do is give Clownfish a clean and dedicated audio adapter. This is something I've tested several times and it works 100% if done right. We're going to use a simple tool called VB Audio Cable, also known as Virtual Audio Cable. It's like a virtual wire that captures your mic audio, sends it into Clownfish, and then routes it perfectly into any app like Discord with zero delay. First thing, if you already have Clownfish installed, uninstall it right now. I've seen a couple of random sites hosting older or broken versions of Clownfish and they mess everything up. So don't take risks. I've already added the correct download link in the description. Just follow that one and download the same version that I'll show you on screen. Once you're on the Clownfish website, download the version that matches your system. I'm using Windows 64-bit, and most of you probably are too. But if you're still on 32-bit Windows, download that version instead. Don't guess, check it properly. While Clownfish is downloading, go ahead and download VB Audio Cable too. Again, link is in the description. No need to search anywhere else. I'll show you the installation part in the screen recording. Once your files are downloaded, Start with Clownfish installation first, double click the setup file, follow the prompts, and install it just like any other program. Once it's done, don't open it yet. We'll do that in a bit. Now go ahead and install VB Audio Cable, open the folder, and if you're on 64 bit, run VBCABLE setup underscore x64.x as administrator. If you're on 32 bit, run the normal setup file instead. Let it install. And once done, you should see a new input output device in your sound settings called VB Cable Input or Cable Output. Okay, first, make sure your output is still your default speaker. Click on the speaker icon and choose your headphones or speaker that you're using as your output because we are not changing our output for entire PC. Now let's set up your mic to use the virtual cable. Open Control Panel then go to Hardware and Sound. And from there, Open Sound. Now go to the Recording tab and look for your main working microphone. The one you actually use, right-click on it. Go to Properties and speak into the mic. You should see the green signal bar move. That confirms it's your active mic. Now go to the Listen tab and check the box that says Listen to this device you might not hear anything at this point because below that checkbox, there's a drop down. That drop down decides where you hear your mic output. From that drop down, select Cable Input, VB Audio Virtual Cable, and click Apply, then OK. This means your mic will now send audio into the virtual cable instead of your speakers or headphones. Now that the mic is feeding audio into the cable, we need Clownfish to catch that signal and apply the voice changer effect. Click on the Windows icon, type Clownfish, and open it. Now go to the tray icon area near your clock. Look for the Clownfish icon. If it's gray, that means it's off. 
If it's orange, then it's on and active. Right-click the icon, go to Setup, and then find the Input Device option. From there, choose Cable Output, VB Audio Cable, as the input for Clownfish. So now, your mic sends audio into the virtual cable, and Clownfish receives it from that cable. To change your voice, right-click on the tray icon again, and click Set Voice Changer. Choose any filter you like, robot, alien, male to female, whatever works for you. Once selected, just close the window. That's it. Now open Discord and click on the gear icon at the bottom to open settings. Go to voice and video and in the input device, select cable output, VB audio virtual cable. Your output device can stay as your headphones or speakers, whatever you normally use now. Your mic audio goes into cable, then Clownfish changes it, and Discord hears the change voice. Here's something extra. You can even use this setup like a music bot. Just open VLC Media Player or any other app and set its output device to VB Audio Cable. Now play any music, sound effects, or audio clips, and your friends on Discord will hear them just like your mic. No background noise, no loss in quality. That's it a full working setup for Clownfish with any microphone. No compatibility issues, no more silent mic, and no more voice changer errors. If this helped you out, don't forget to subscribe to Explody FPS, drop a like if it worked for you, and feel free to comment if you've got any extra tricks to share. This is Syra, signing off. Until next time, stay awesome.